coming from Cooper Street. Look at it. Just look at it. How lovely. A pizzeria, bel Italia. Very nice. A nice black painted windows. And you, oh, look, it's a castle. But then you go this way and you're like, I'm sorry, I can't look. Here's some ancient Berry. Oh, by the way, good morning. We're in Berry. Berry in uh, Greater Manchester. Uh, Berry is north of Salford. And there's some nice parts. And there's some ugly parts. And this is uh, this was all the rage in the late 1800s. They're like, yeah, it's an army garrison. It's a battalion base here. Let's uh, make it like a, an old castle. That'll bring in more people. You know, we can hire more young poor men to go and die for us in big global conflicts. Like Gallipoli, for example. So savage. As you all know, because you've all read the same things as I have. You know, they've got bullets hitting other bullets at weird angles. You know, got these weird little crosses of, of bullets hitting each other. And the wall below me, you know, this is the uh, Berry Castle from 1469. That's even before Henry VIII and Elizabeth I and all that stuff. And it was Carl uh, Pilkington's great, 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 great granddad who was the Lord of the Manor of Berry. And you can imagine how small the population of Berry was back in the day. It's small nowadays. But just imagine back in the day, it would have been titchy. Oh, we've got 300 people. We are a massive cosmopolitan town. 300 people. I need a coffee. When two tubs go to war, where are they? There's your two tubs. And what a fine pair of tubs they have here in uh, Berry. And the, you're all happy. The restricted zone has ended. It's finished. Look at the tubs again. B Detachment 207 Field Hospital in Arduis Fidelis. A eh, snakey. And Fusilier is a rifleman, and a Fusil is rifle in Portuguese. I'm sure it's the same in Spanish. And it must come from uh, the Latin, because obviously the, the rifles from ancient Rome were very, very, effect very accurate, you know. Let's forget that they didn't have gunpowder or that kind of technology. Let's just pretend that Fusil is a Latin word, you'd be fine. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. Oh, golden wheels. I was hoping. It's not a WRX without the golden wheels. Was this not what Colin McRae used to drive in the good old days? And now it's G suit. G suit. G suit. Now. It says, lest we forget. I don't think the British are ever going to forget. But, uh, no, it's poignant. It's nice to see the remembrance of uh, people who gave their lives for the idea of Great Britain. Uh, you've got a Greater Manchester Police one there, a Royal Air Force, um, Bury High School. A lot of remembrance. There are a lot of kids here doing some amazing remembrance. Let's have a look at some of their names. They've got Marlam Ayat Bismillah. Aslan, Shah, Pakiza, Aiya, Akwazi, Husna, Hunter, Ibrahim, Mahnur, Manal, Ibrar, Malaika, Hassan, Janaya, and Konain. They are remembering. Now, someone has snuck. Someone has snuck a Ukraine flag on the end there. I guess that's for all the British servicemen that have lost their lives fighting in Ukraine for the Hunter Biden Oil Corporation. Oh, sorry, not allowed to talk about that. Forgive me, YouTube, forgive me. Don't ban me, don't ban me, don't ban me. We won't talk about the laptop. We won't talk about Ukraine and the corruption and, and Hunter Biden, Joe Biden. We won't talk about it. I've been in Barry about 10, 15 minutes and uh, it's a depressing place. Oh my God, is it any worse than any other average town that has uh, seen uh, cognitive decline, economic decline, societal decline over the last 50 years? I, I don't know. It, it just feels... Maybe I've just reached a tipping point. You know, I've been to so many places that the straw that broke the camel's back had to be berry. Had to be berry. I'm like, I don't know what I'm feeling. It's, um, it's melancholy without the kind of nostalgic romantic vibe it's like the tv show shameless 
mixed with Benefit Street, mixed with the kind of I don't know. It's like I've woken up. It's like I've, anyone at my age or a bit older used to watch the Twilight Zone. It feels like I've woken up in a different world and I am a different species and everyone's been replaced by unthinking golems like little demons running around just not noticing as the carpet gets pulled out from under them not ready for a rant just yet but people say f- oh good morning hello thank you oh good i'm just doing a video right now hope you don't mind appearing look at this good guy with good taste how are you not bad so, Welcome to Berry. thank you very much. I was just doing a rant how I think maybe Berry's the town that's going to break the camel's back. I've been to so many places really? that I don't think I'm emotionally ready for the no. mainstream horror no. that is Berry. Yeah. But what can you tell me about the town that my viewers might not know? It's a shithole. You're backing up exactly what I said, so that's good. <laughs> and why is it a shithole? Um, it's extremely dirty. Yeah. Um, is it a bit stabby, a bit crimey? Yeah, it can be, yeah. It I've got a friend that got mugged here. Really? Yeah. yeah right. Three big guys yeah, of yeah. Uh, an urban persuasion. Yeah. They uh, mugged them and beat them up, and, yeah, but they got arrested. Yeah. yeah. But now I'm going to... It's getting worse. Everywhere is getting worse. I think something's happening with the masses, with the people. They're becoming more dull, more cattle-like. They're not kicking off. No. They'll never kick off. It's like they don't have it in them. And I'm not saying we need a, a vicious revolution. I just say people need to put their feet down and say they're human beings or they're not going to take it anymore. But yeah, there you go. Keep up the good fight. Some helpful commenter let me know what this style was. Uh, the style of uh, photography or display. I can't remember what it was, but I'll make the comment again. I had this in, on my pencil case and on my ruler in the 80s and I thought it was the height of technology. Now... You got your Mary and Jesus, but uh, doesn't take long for the for the noise to creep in. I don't know if it, we should call it noise, but it's so tacky that it makes me want to S L I T my W R I S T S's. Gotta be careful what you say on uh, uh, mental control YouTube. It's getting more and more sanitized. Uh, with Elon Musk buying Twitter and all, you know, he's not even right wing, he's just a bloody billionaire. All the advertisers say, Elon Musk is a Nazi, we're not going to advertise anymore. So, like, if anyone on YouTube now does anything slightly exciting, YouTube and their corporate overlords are like, no, he's not going to make money on that video. We can't put adverts on a video next to Berry Town Centre if he mentions the. <laughs> Alongside S-L-I-T comes the C-O-L-T, S-H-O-T. Okay, Shithole Berry continues. And imagine you're a developer and you create this nasty, fake, concrete you know, pedestrian, grey thing. And you're like, I know what, let's build apartments all around it. Punters will love it. They're like, yeah, look, it's cheap, nasty shopping, noise and mess. Get my balcony. They'll love it. I don't know. Anyone who knows Berry can tell me in the comments section. Are, are these flats occupied? Are they busy? Are they full of people? I don't know, but they don't look so good. Reminds me of Chernobyl. Pripyat. Pripyat. Very good. And you see here, you got the 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 carnies, the carnies, the bouncies, the merry-go-rounds, the kids' entertainment. Give me your shekels. Give me your money. Ugh. Have I still got a wrist left? I think I've still got my other wrist. I can I can do it twice. Just need a warm bath. And remember, kids, no, I'm not going to say it. Sometimes internet jokes don't translate well to corporate sanitized YouTube. YouTubo. YouTubby. The Rock. The Rock! Can you smell what The Rock is cooking? 
as he raises the people's eyebrow. What's his name? Dwayne Johnson. Wayne was too boring. His parents were like, put a D in front of it. Dwayne sounds almost onomatopoeic. When he's pumping iron, do the irons go Dwayne, Dwang, Dwayne? Maybe not. I feel like a completely different species than these people. And I worry in my darkest nightmares. In fact, the nightmares of my nightmares, the fractal, the, the, the monsters in my imagination, what they have nightmares of, the nightmares of my nightmares, is that it's a race. Either people like me will have to put these people into camps and, you know, or they're going to do it to us. Hello, mate. All good. Not him. He gets to live. He's a good guy. But people that watch my channel, I'm sure you're a bit like me. I hope you're a bit like me. But either they have to go or they're going to they're going to put us they almost did during the pandemic. They were this close to exterminating us. And it's a Darwinian battle for survival now. Has to be. I don't get them. Just just look at it. Just look at the area. Like where are the trees? It's just never-ending concrete. N no trees. A city centre devoid of any trees. The greenest thing around here is the uh, car park. JD Sports. That's like, you know, get your uniform on, you chavlets and chavits and chavies. Uh, if you're going to sell someone a 20 bag, you've got to wear the most expensive Nike Airs possible. Of course. There he goes, Santa himself. Go on, Santa. Oh, he's going in. Right, he's dressed as a bear. Love it. Ho, ho, ho! Hello. Yeah, they're all right. You don't mind me shooting my little vlog about... You don't mind me filming, do you? Good man. What, what's you, what are you worried about? I'll let you right to keep going out the inside one on that side. Nah. You're going to have to sack the electrical engineer, the electrician. Unless it's you. You can't sack yourself. Oh, there you go. Oh, they've got like um, spotlight... Um, beamies. Ah. Brilliant. What's the engine you've got on it? What, what size... I've got a two litre Peugeot fuel injection in the back of that one. I bet it's a flying machine if it I wants to a, be. I got a speed, six speed in ticket a few weeks ago. Did you? Ironically doing 36 in a 30. Just That's like the that. lowest you can go and get a ticket. Yeah. 36, I, mean, I think, yeah, it's a 10% plus two. So had you been going 35, yeah. you'd have been try, fine. Try keeping that thing. So yeah. And is that Fuzzy Bear? Fuzzy Bear. It's, you supposed, know, it's supposed to be a reindeer. A reindeer? <laughs> it looks like that Muppet. You know, you remember the Muppet when we were kids? It was like, he goes, uh, bear left, and then he goes, right, frog. <laughs> nice one, mate. Take care. No, All the best. Everybody. Merry Christmas. And yourself. Trike Man almost has me in tears. He does all that for sick children and raises lots of money for them. We're coming down the side of The Rock. It's just inorganic, fake, concrete, treeless, and... This is, uh, brings us a nice, <laughs> a nice move to my next segment. You know, here in Bury, it's not a very large city. It's a, it's a town. But you've got these dual carriageway, big roads, cutting through the main city. And it's really awful. And I came here the other day to go to Argos. I was like, ah, oh, they've got it in stock, the one item I need. So I drove to Bury going, ah, oh, I'll find free parking. No problem, I'll find some free parking. And you won't believe what they've done to city center Bury. What they've done to this town, I'll show you. Here in Great Britain, rule Britannia, God save the queen. And well, she, she, he didn't manage to save her. So now we say God save the king. We like to think that we're better than the Americans. They're our bastard children, you know? yippee ki motherfucker and all that shit. Basically, the British helped the 13 colonies to defeat the French 
and the Spanish and to maintain independence. And it cost a lot of money for the British. And the, the, the Americans were like, yeah, yeah, we'll pay you back. You know, we'll, we'll, thanks for saving our lives, stopping our children getting enslaved. We'll pay you back. <laughs> and then the British were like, can we please get our uh, money back, please? Um, and the uh, 13 colonies were like, revolution. Uh. So they reneged on the debt. And a gentleman never forgets a debt. Anyway, the reason I bring this up, we're like, surely in Britain we would never turn an entire town centre into a giant car park. Not even a free car park, a paid for car park, I'll show you. So I was like, how can I get hold of an 128 gigabyte SDXC memory card? At very last minute. I need it now. I can't order it online. I don't want it tomorrow. I don't want it guaranteed delivery in two days. I want it now. Argos. And uh, this is, there's the rock there. There's the, the city center. This here is center. And as far as the eye can see, it's car parks. Giant car parks. And I was like, oh, it'll be free. Surely a place like Berry, they're not going to charge people, especially not in these gigantic mega car parks, these super car parks. They're not going to charge the public to park here, surely. Surely a place like Berry is desperate for people to come in and spend their money. They're not going to charge money, but no, you're wrong. I was wrong. It costs money. Look. Oh, ignore, ignore the first one. Let me censor that because I'm a propagandist and we're doing propaganda now. Look at that. Okay. Turns out I could have parked here for free, but you can't go shopping for free. Okay. It might cost you. Okay. Just, just ignore my rant. It should be free. It should be bloody free. I'm sure Mr. Jaguar here, he, or Mrs. Jaguar, appreciates that. Helios, at least it's not raining. So what did I do? As a Scotsman, I don't pay for parking. It's a matter of principle. It's not about the pounds. It's not about this. It's not about that. So I had, hiya, I had to park in the Asda car park where you get three free hours. And it's an extra one and a half minute walk but my god it's a sunday it's about midday it's not even two in the afternoon three in the afternoon there's very few spaces left in the berry car park very few oh you've got good taste if you recognize me thank you what's your name sir brian brian nice to meet you nice to meet you can you tell everyone what chat do you know my name it'll come to me let's come out of the road just in case but to tell I, them they're watching the Charlie Beach channel. Charlie Beach channel. That's it, Charlie Beach, that's it. Yeah, Charlie Beach. Thank you. You're taller than what I thought you would be. Am I smaller on you're, YouTube? No, you're a big man. <laughs> I'm a big man. You're a big man. What are you, about 6'2"? 6'5". 6'5". 6'5". What's your name? Brian. Bra oh, sorry, you did say Brian. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Charlie right, Beach. Yeah. Look at your lovely wife over there. Yeah. Are you guys going shopping? <laughs> yeah, we are Christmas shopping. Oh, yeah. can I ask, um, what do you guys think about all this parking here and the fact it's not free? It is free though, isn't it? Yeah, it's free for the first 45 we, we, minutes. We haven't paid. <laughs> oh good, 45 minutes free. Oh, is it free all day on Sunday? Oh, that's why it's so busy. Well, my video is ruined. I was doing a video moaning about the parking. A pound! I can't afford that. Thanks, Brian. All the best, mate. Merry Christmas as well. Take care, bye-bye. A pound! Okay, I've had a very nice, pleasant poo in a very clean loo in TK Maxx. Good. So I'm gonna revise my parking rant, seeing as the locals have ruined my propaganda. Thank you, locals, I do appreciate it. These videos are always better with local involvement. I refuse to park somewhere where you have to keep looking at your watch. Oh shit, 45 minutes is up, I'm gonna get charged, I'm gonna get fined. That's not fine. When I say I park for free, I park somewhere where I can leave the car there forever and not get a ticket. Don't know why I'm so into my parking rants, but we're in the car park, makes sense. And speaking of car parks, what the hell happened to driverless cars? I thought car parks were gonna become obsolete. Your car will drive itself home. Your car will go park somewhere else and come pick you up when you're done, but no. Humans are still driving these vehicles, there's no, Driverless cars were a big meme in 2015. We're now almost eight years later. 
people still driving their own cars. What do you think, Jaggy Romania? Yeah. yeah. So the Shevington murder video is doing some big numbers, you know. Thank you. Thank you, viewers. And uh, turns out the body they found down uh, Kilburn Lane in the middle of nowhere, they had to bring in some sort of weird forensic team because the body was covered in a hazardous substance. Is it an acid? Is it an alkaline? Equally as corrosive. Is it nuclear waste? Is it polonium? Is it Novichok? Who's the victim? Who's the perpetrator? And this is when the police have to work on their intelligence. They need to know every single local crackhead, local dealer. Then they can kind of start by process of elimination, figuring out who the killer is. It's very rare that someone does an absolutely random murder in a different town. Very rare, very hard to trace. Don't do it. Don't do it, viewers. Don't be a serial killer. Just don't. It's not worth it. <laughs> no chuckle, sorry. Serious, serious. They're like, Charlie, you can't go to Berry without checking out the world famous market. Berry market, world famous. Here we are. Berry market. Now, if I survive Berry market without having suicidal thoughts, that would be a victory. It's so depressing. I, I've never felt more separate than my, from my fellow man. I, 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 um, I don't know how people aren't like me. It blows me away, surely. You know, in the animal kingdom, which and we're, we're animals, we're mammals, we're primates. There can't be that much of a difference in the intelligences and the psyches of one rodent versus another rat, you know, or one rat versus another rat. One rabbit versus another rabbit. One sheep versus another sheep. Surely it's very similar intelligences. But the variety in humans is a... Uh, it's enough for a zoologist to class us as different species. You know, in the animal kingdom, just to tell you how it is. If there's two animals that look identical, but they have super different behaviors, they are classed as different species. And here we are in Berry Market Parade. And it's a weekend. In Christmas season. And it's abandoned under the grey haze of the sun. And they don't bother to remove the social distancing bullshit. Full market, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Now, will you get anything good in a British market like this? No. You'll get novelty items. You'll get shit. You'll get Chinese tat. Constant reminders. It's just... <laughs> yeah, because we're, we're all going to break in, mate. We're going to do it. I shouldn't be so harsh, but you have to be honest. You know, it's uh, this whole like, eh, everything's amazing. Give them a star. Give them a trophy. That's what's got us into this mess. As a civilization, we stopped rewarding truth, beauty, love, achievement, competition. L look at it. We'll go deeper, just for that extra depressing effect. Now we, we, we strike people down if they're too successful. Tax him more. Take it off him. Humiliate him or her. She started the new business. Let's be nasty to her. Whatever happened to uh, a good healthy dose of uh, letting the best do what they do? I don't know why, where this rant's going, but there's too much supporting bullshit. Bullshit. And yeah, this is all bullshit. Like, it's all bullshit. Berry Black Pudding Company. I hear it's uh, it's a good black pudding. I had black pudding the other day. Scottish black pudding. It was good. But my God, do, do people... I, I would ironically come here to shoot a depressing movie. A gangster movie. Like, oh, fucking, you know what I mean? But people come here unironically. They come to Tom's Bargain Corner unironically. I'm not being snobby. 
I'm not being entitled, I'm being honest. Berry's home cooked meats. You gonna smoke your meats like Mark Zucky? Mark Zucky likes to smoke meat. Those two Chinese tourists, I think they've, uh, they gotta go and get a prescription for Prozac after hanging out here. I think I need some SSRIs as well. <laughs> I'm not even gonna film down there except do a little five time zoom because I don't think my heart can take it. This year's photons had better last. Whoa, 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 ah, yeah. This year's photons had better last. Teenagers are such shits. These two guys here dropping their Greg's wrappers in front of me to try and trigger me. I didn't take the bait. Let them litter their shithole town because they are shitholes themselves. But it's funny how teenagers will literally not only destroy themselves, destroy their local area just to try and be edgy. Oh, little finger. Edgy. Oh, pull your pants up, mate. All I wanted was to urinate. It's like Fort Knox. Uninspiring, plasticky, given out to the lowest bidder, piece of shit. Wrecking the town centre, and guess what? Next to Berry Market train station, what have they got? Big car parks. Because every revitalising town centre needs oh, more dual carriageway roads, uh, making the city unwalkable. Damn, may maybe this building will save us. Maybe it's something good. We'll see. Now, again, the graphic designer that designed that, wow, give him a raise. Look at, look at that. Oh, sorry, little bug that was there. I didn't mean to do that. In case some of you missed the joke, which I am going to plagiarize from Dave Chappelle. I'm sure he won't mind. I'm sure he's a, quite a relaxed guy. Group of Italians you call a mob. Group of black guys you call a gang. Group of Jewish guys you call a coincid coincidence. Get it? Get it? Get it? Get it? We allowed to say that, YouTube? We allowed? It's the Berry Town Hall. It's the town hall. As far as town halls go, it's okay. Looks like it was built in the 30s. I'm getting a 30s vibe. Maybe a little radio tower on top across here. It's still Berry Council. You got Berry Yellow Flag. You got Slava Ukraini. Ukraine might as well be part of Britain and America. The amount of tens of trillions of billions they've been receiving. Now, I'm sure that money's better spent uh, blowing up. Uh, uninterested uh, poor Russian conscripts than it is making America and Britain amazing countries again. But hey, what do I know? I'm just a man with a camera. What the hell would I know? I'm sure our government have our interests at heart. Like they, they know what's best for us. And you know, here we are. So my car park rants, it continues. We're here. There's more Berry Council, Berry this, entrance that. And what have they got here? Another paid for car park being built because that's what the town needs. Turns out we were fobbed off by the main reception. What I wanted was the ceremonial entrance, not the tradesman entrance I was looking at. No, I don't want to go where the tradesmen go. God, no. Private car park. So here we are. Here's the, here's the ceremonial. What have we got? We've got some roses. Vincit Omnia Industria. Industry always wins. Does it? Does it really? And look, they've saved a spot for the mayor. Because he doesn't need to, to park. And who else grew up with the mayor of Springfield sounding like a Kennedy? So there you go. I think there's a few more things to look at in this tower. Let's go look at this tower. The clock tower. All along the clock tower. Changing the lyrics. I know, I know, I know, I know. It wasn't just a private car park. It was a multi-story private car park which hopefully has failed because fuck them chugga 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 choo choo chugga 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 choo choo nicest thing I've seen in Berry and it doesn't even do anything it doesn't even tell the time look it's not midday at all it's actually it's actually 
1 p.m. So it's still stuck on uh, daylight savings hours. <laughs> Berry Park. They love it here. This is a bit of money. Hey, money, money, money. Scumbags. Pampas grass. You know what that means, don't you? For that, uh, that quiet suburban couple that has the pampas grass in their front yard. You never know what they get up to at the weekend. They get the leathers, the buckles, and uh, here we are at the clock tower. Let's look at this happy dude. Is that Pan? I'd say that's Pan. How very pagan. How very heretical. And uh, there's a crown at the top. You've got to know who the boss is. Now, there's been nothing that has redeemed Berry in my mind. Someone's turned 21 and it's uh, Olivia, Olivia! It's 21. Oh God, I'm, I'm gonna go to hell, I'm sorry. Um, I am sorry, I didn't know, I thought, I, di I did not know. Forgive me, forgive me. Um, God bless you, Olivia, I'm sorry, forgive me. Now, cut! Now, what could make Berry worse? Um, maybe if they had some corporate roundabout art that was utterly ridiculous. Maybe if they had, I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, um, yep. Uh, they never miss a chance to spread the message. Now, what would make Berry worse would be if they had some ridiculous piece of art. Maybe, like, I don't know. What could be absurd enough to, to make me laugh? What could really make me chuckle and snigger and chortle? I know what! A torpedo piece of art! Now, the um, Navy, Royal Navy guys who... Uh, fought and died in the various conflicts. I bet the last thing they ever want to see is a fucking torpedo ever again, but here you go. Nice shiny torpedo. Let's give you guys scale. Scale. There you go. It's about one meter eighty. A six foot red tipped, sharp tipped torpedo. Berry is like an episode of Phoenix Nights. WTF, bro. Although... This is good with the sun. Look at that. Favorite shot so far. There you go, right there. Okay, so something I've never seen before. I've seen many a government building. I've seen many a town hall. Dozens. Many on this channel that you've shared with me. But I have never seen a fence covering a basement level like this. Because the scrotal sacks of Berry. They'll climb down and steal anything not pinned down, even from the town hall that's probably covered in CCTV. Ay, ay, ay. There's got to be some redeeming feature of Berry, and we will find it. I swear, we'll find it. Mm hmm. Okay. It is the NHS COVID 19 vaccination service. Um. I am a different species than most people. I, I really am. I feel like an alien come down into primate land. Hooty hooty ooga booga land. The primates have developed sentience. And they're doing strange things to one another. Berry Town Centre. There's a transport hub. Berry Town Centre. The place with the least amount of foliage I've ever been to in my life. The... Berry Athenium. Okay, Berry Art Museum plus Sculpture Center. And again, look, they're like the facade, literally the facade, sandstone. And it's all fake. Look at that. And what took my interest was that modernist monstrosity over there. That's worth investigating. I have never, ever in my life been down here, down this street. So you're going to do it with me. Oh, it's the Fusilier Museum. The Fusilier Museum. So you can think about people shooting each other and firing uh, lead objects at uh, twice the speed of sound through each other's chest cavities. 
uh, destroying internal organs, uh, sucking the life out of people. Mm -mm -mm. As I have my my bruschetta with my friends Jeffrey, uh, Bradley, and Henrietta, I like nothing more than to think of um, the desert rats in the 1950s in Egypt trying to uh, get, kill some communists in the Suez Crisis. That's what that's what gets my juices flowing. And speaking of flowing. What are those? Those are flowers, aren't they? That's not a vegetable. That's a type of flower, surely, growing on there. But anyway, I've never seen uh, a desert Range Rover, sorry, Land Rover, put up at 30 degrees with a flower bed in it. That's different. So here we are in Secret Berry. Look at that weird church thing. It's transparent. It's got holes in it. Oh, God, Berry. Unitarian Church, and that's not Angela Merkel, is it? No, it's um, it's Victoria Wood. I don't know who Victoria Wood. It's not, it's not Scylla Black. It's Victoria Wood, who passed away in 2016. Uh, I've not got my finger, my thumb on the cultural buttons of society, so my viewers will have to say, Charlie, of course it's Victoria Wood. I don't know. As Bjork sang, she didn't sing It's All So Quiet. Bjork sang It's All So Shit. It is fecal matter. Hey, look, the Mazda MX-5, the poor man's uh, F-type. Sorry, E-type. Or is it F-type? I forget. No, it's F-type. Job Center Plus. No, I'm, I'm feeling the life uh, drain out of me uh, with every step I take. I won't be watching you every breath you take. I'll be getting more and more of a serotonin and endorphin uh, lack in the old brain. That's it. That's all it is. They love the Gallipoli campaign here. We're in Gallipoli Gardens. They love it. A bit of memorial. Now, the most satanic, the most demonic sign I've seen here is warning mothers. If you try and hold back a son or sweetheart, if you don't want your beloved firstborn child to be disemboweled and have his limbs torn off by German artillery shells in the trenches. You're making the war longer, you evil, selfish woman. How dare you want your children or your sweetheart to be alive? Look at this. Line up obediently. Put that uniform on and go and die. Go and die. Go and die. Oh, my. This is, ah. Look at that. Starve yourself so that we can kill more young men. Come and do your bit, Brit. And here's the famous meme. Here's the famous meme. Daddy, what did you do in the great meme war of 2016 to 2022? <laughs> this is uh, to try and shame, you know, the sons. Look at this, look at this. There's a son. They're all smartly dressed. Nice house. He's playing with the soldiers from... Uh, looks like the 17th, sorry, 18th, 19th century. And the implication here is that he looks worried because they're trying to say that he's a coward for not wanting to put his uniform on and get bayoneted and have his intestines cut open in a meaningless European campaign of uh, super rich Europeans sending the poor Europeans who would never have anything against each other Here we go, here we go, finally, something I can like, Wilfred Owen. So the young men who would never, you know, those young Brits, they've got nothing against young Fritz. But when the, when the government says, you have to do as you're told, peasant. God, I hate them, so I hate them. I, I hate them with a passion. And I, you know, I'm not one of these hippies that goes, oh, you can't, you know, hate is a bad emotion. No, real love requires real hate. They go hand in hand. Now here is the message I want to leave you with. My friend, you would not tell with such high zest to children ardent for some desperate glory the old lie, dulci e decorum est pro patria mori. Wilfred Owen, who died at the end of World War I, probably assassinated by the government for uh, convincing young men to not obediently go and get disemboweled 
in the killing fields of Flanders. The message to take away from this is I hate with a fractal transcendental passion men who would send uh, other young men off to go and die. Now, I know at the start of the Ukraine campaign, I uh, told people to go and fight for Ukraine. But I took that video down because I was fucking wrong. So I hope you've enjoyed Barry, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you uh, didn't feel the same levels of horror, despondency and depression as I felt walking around here. Now here's a very apt bar. I um, don't know if it's still open. Who knows? It's not open now and it should be, so it's probably gone bust. All seeing eye, Illuminati, New World Order, propaganda. Who would have thought, you know, when we were cavemen, frolicking in the forest, picking fruit off trees, hunting animals, living in harmony with nature, that in the future, people would split into different social classes and they would literally brainwash the people beneath them to go and do their bidding for money, for war, for glory, to go and die. The message to leave this video with is follow your own heart, follow your own intuition. Be very wary of what governments and media and corporations are trying to get you to do. Safe and effective. Thanks for watching.